both you fuck yourself. The following broadcast is for your ears only. You're listening to Corrupted Nation and Joe Cronin. Master Luke, stop fucking my ass! Why is Master Luke concerned you're talking to my ass, my robotic ass? Oh, Archie! Don't do that, Archie! Oh, oh, oh. Archie, stop fucking me! Oh, oh. What's happening to God? Master Luke, stop fucking my robotic Master Yoda, I'll get you milk if you're thirsty. Who's thirsty again? Feed me no good will. Like, like to eat the animals. Yes, yes, rice, pasta, rice. All of the previous Jedi live inside of your ass. Remember, no one's truly gone. That's why I brought back my mother and fucked her in the ass. Star Wars Rise of the Cocksucker. to Monday Night Raw, which is probably going to suck a goddamn big fat cock, but here we are on Corrupted Nation Live, because of you guys, we're live. Yeah. What's up to the chat? How's everybody doing? We got Daniel101 in the chat. He's a top-notch troll of the community, and he says, fuck Crystal. Couldn't agree with him more than that. No doubt about it. Fuck Fuck her. Fuck whores. Fuck her. She's a whore, so there you go. Allegedly. Um, yo, we got so many people right now. I mean, it's I got one of the Super Bowl teams right. So I'm patting myself on the back for that. Uh, if I just stuck to my prediction at the beginning of the season, I would have had both right, which would have been really fucking awesome because I would have looked like a goddamn nose for fucking Damas right now. Nope, I had to switch to the Ravens, though, like an idiot. I had to switch to the fucking Ravens. Had the 49ers versus... 
the Kansas City Chiefs or the Patriots, and I had to change it to the Ravens like a stupid cunt. I'm a stupid fucking cunt, okay? That's the bottom line of this show right now, first of all. I'm a stupid fucking cunt. Uh, Big Fuego, you say the Nazis are walking around uh, Virginia now? Well, that's one of my topics is I was going to bring up is they're, they're calling all the gun support gun people, and there's black people too there. Uh, but they're calling the guys all white supremacists now. But I don't think they are. I think there's might be a might be like 15 guys walking around. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when I see a rally with like a woman's rally or a, or whatever rally, and there's like fucking 30 members of Antifa. Like to me, it's like that doesn't make everybody else Antifa, you know. But they do support those people. It's weird. Um, I think just like Antifa should be pushed against by the left. I think the right should push against any sort of showing of KKK or white supremacy. So if any white supremacy or KKK shows up at the rally, they should definitely be like, get the fuck out of our rally. And from what I understand, it was a peaceful rally that was fine. There wasn't any issue at all. They wanted there to be an issue. They scared you about issues, but they didn't do that. But if there are, um, but if there are white supremacists in, in the mix of these people... And they make themselves known. I definitely would. I gotta believe that it's in the 100% best interest of anybody to throw them the fuck out of there. You know, get the fuck out of here. This is a peaceful rally about uh, pro guns. This isn't about you know black or white or anything like that. And we don't want you to be a part of our shit. Uh, so hopefully that's what happens. But hopefully that's what happens with Antifa too. Hopefully the left is like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? We're not involved. We don't want any part of you. Get the fuck out of here. You know. People are all losing their minds, though, so. She can say the N-word. Who can say the N-word? Let me know. I mean, I, I honestly, speaking of the uh, the N-word, this guy keeps calling the show saying N-word, you N-word sayer. Why are you saying that to me, dude? What the hell are you talking about? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I have no idea what this guy's talking about. Should I put him on the air? What do you mean? Should I put him on the air? What do you want me to put him on the air? I mean, dude, everybody does. We, we, we all need to protect ourselves. I, I don't even have, I'm not even a gun person. I don't have guns, but I appreciate that these people are willing to stick up for my right to have one when I, when I get one and if I get one and if I wanted to get one because I deserve to be able to defend myself as everybody does. It doesn't matter like who you are. Like everybody should. I'm not like obsessed with it. Like I'm not like insane. Like, oh my God, you know, but you know, I'm there, you know, um, should I take this guy's call? I mean, what? So why is he keeps calling over and over again? Are you going to really keep calling over and over and over again until someone answers you? Is that what's going on right now? Shout out to the girdles, man. What's up? Shout out to the girdles. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Um, I decided to stream, well, for many reasons. Yeah, I mean, first of all, because I love streaming. I had some shit to say. I think it'd be fun to talk to you guys. And uh, we need to do some shit. Jesse James, what up, man, in the chat? What's up, Jesse? Uh, I love it. I got a gun. There you go. I'm glad you have a gun. My computer is shitting itself. Thank you to Broken Line who subbed 10 months in a row. Chiz Hickneys who subbed 29 months in a row. And I hope Chiz Hickneys gets better, man. He told me earlier that he was on his way to the hospital. So, yo, Chiz Hickneys, I hope you're doing good, man. I talked to you offline, obviously, on a DM. And so hopefully you got my message. And hopefully soon I can get this computer replaced. I know I'm like wobbling a little bit because st I'm strobing because how bad this thing is. But we're going to get there. You know, we're going to get there with hopefully the support of you guys. You guys can support my channel by going to Patreon and becoming a patron. $25 and above is a producer level. But if you want a bunch of bonus content, you can become a dollar a month, $2 a month, whatever. There's a whole bunch of bonus shit on Patreon. Not only can you help me keep doing this show and get a new computer and uh, help do everything we do here, but you get a ton of content on Patreon that is never heard uh, on YouTube. So get on over there and check it out. Yeah, um, me and my son Gavin went over to my mother's house, which as many of you guys know, I, I, we've lived here for a year in this new place, lived here for a year. I've been working on the studio again to get some uh, updates in here, but uh, you know it's a slow process. 
and um, we were over at my mother's house. We were digging through some stuff that I needed. I actually went over there to get a synthesizer and a mixer that I needed, and I never fucking found the synthesizer, which was the whole reason I went over there. But um, what I did find in the closet was an old friend of ours, Mr. Sniffles. Oh, man. Oh, this was uh, Mr. Sniffles the cat, one of uh, JD's cats, singing Not That Hole, Not My Hole, because um, he was afraid of penetration, allegedly. Not my hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think my son knew what that meant, by the way. <laughs> he, th I told him I said, not my home. He was like, oh, you know, because he, he hates his home. And my son was like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. That's a, It's amazing what you can pull off, you know. Kids will never know. Never know the real meaning of what was what was really going on there. Not my hole. Fuck yeah. What up? What's up, everybody? Oh, is is he really going to keep calling me? Are you serious, bro? Like, dude. Oh, my God. All right, fine. Let's fuck it. Fine. Uh, here we go. Here we go. All right, All right, this, this guy, guy keeps, keeps calling, calling over and over and over again, and, over again, and I keep just not taking the call, call but fine. Um, you're, you're on the air. What's, what's up? Yes, your ass. ass. Come on. Hello, Vanya. Yep. Vanya, yep. it's me. It's me, it's me Arnold. Yes. What's in it? Come on, I want to talk about the, I want to, to, to tell you that I no longer listen to your program because of the bad word you said the other day. It was absolutely despicable. What? What, 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 what bad? Dude, what, what bad? Arnold, not saying bad words. Word. You, you think you know what you said? You said no racist words. It's a racist thing. No, no I, I didn't. I don't, don't think, think so, bro. bro. Why do you say these racist things? I'm Why do you say these racist things? I'm not saying racist things, things Arnold. Arnold. Arnold, I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing that. Go ahead with you want to hang up on me. me. No, no I, I kind of. of I do. You know you said the bad word. You said to get down with the sand. Oh, come on. Why do you say sand? Oh, stop. What the? What the hell, Arnold? Dude, seriously, bro? Dude, listen, I never said that. Or if I did say that, I was muting myself. I muted myself. Nobody on the air heard that whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you muted it. You know you said it. You said it, Sam. Oh, my God. Get rid of it. Oh, my God. I had to dump out of that. Uh, what the fuck? I'm a fucking idiot. Really, Arnold? Like, dude, I'm never taking your fucking call again. How about that? And by the way, I, I don't think that was Arnold. Okay? I don't even think you are Arnold Schwarzenegger, you piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Ugh. Ugh. Infinite Midwest. Any pussy can own a gun. Takes a real one to not rely on one when you're one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, but it takes an idiot to get shot in the head, man. I mean, like, to be honest, bro, like, it's like... People with guns are going to roll up and, like, kill your family in front of you. I mean, it would be better to have a weapon to defend yourself. I don't like guns. The only reason why I would ever have a gun would be like to defend my like to defend myself against people who have guns <laughs> like that like cuz obviously you can't win a fight if people roll up with guns you know what i'm saying so you have to have guns uh that was uh that was a fucked up call man i apologize uh for the echo i when i took the call i hit the other button and it doubled my it doubled all the sound so i apologize when I, next time i take a call it won't echo like that i don't think i we doubled on the echo. My bad. I took the call and it echoed. Do I want the 49ers to win? What? Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I picked the 49ers to win the Super Bowl at the beginning of the year, but, but you know, one of the things about it is that I've been thinking about is the fact that, you know, if the 49ers win, you know, then they're going to get six uh, Super Bowl wins, I think, maybe. I think they might tie. Or Cowboys or something like that. 
How many forty? How many Super Bowls the Forty ers have? Four, five, six. No, they got four or five. I think they have five. And if that's the case, then they would tie the Patriots and the Steelers. Yeah, they got five. So, like, it would be in my best interest to, to, for, like, the 49ers to actually lose because, you know, there's already the dumb talk about Garoppolo. I hate that talk because I already talked about this. I already beat you all to the punch. Everybody out there, oh, Garoppolo could have been a Patriot. No shit, I said this three years ago. You're telling us nothing new. This is all, we already all knew this. They kept Brady. But guess what? We won a Super Bowl. We kept Tom Brady and won one more Super Bowl. So even if Garoppolo wins a Super Bowl or doesn't win or whatever he does, the bottom line is we did get one more Super Bowl. The tra we traded Garoppolo. We still got one Super Bowl after that. So we got what we wanted. You know what I mean? Um, I liked Garoppolo. I actually didn't want to lose Garoppolo. I wanted to keep Garoppolo for one or two more years. And then if Brady didn't retire or showed you know, unless Brady was playing like Superman, I would have gotten rid of Brady or said, hey, you know, Tom, go somewhere else, you know, like and I would have brought in Garoppolo. So but I loved Garoppolo back then. Obviously, we saw how good he played. Um, I think that I said I said, you guys can go look up the streams from two years ago. I said the guy's going to win and go to the Super Bowl. He's just going to do it. It's going to happen. Um, sometimes he plays really well. Sometimes he doesn't play the best, but his team is good. But he played really well in the Patriots. So. He played like a beast on the Patriots. So, it is what it is. Uh, give me that shirt. What up, Heist Man? Heist Man, da foo. What's up, Heist Man? How you guys doing? Philip Brother, uh, Philip Brothers Rivers will pee his pants. I bet. Here comes a poop donation. <sighs> Shlongs or dongs? Let me know in the chat. Shout out to the girdles. Yo, poop. Thank you for the four ninety nine, man. Um, shout out to the girdles, man. Shout out to the girdles. Uh, shout out to the girdles. Poop. Thank you for the uh, four ninety nine, man. You keep the shows going, motherfucker, and you keep me growing. Like down below. Without you, I'd be dead. Uh, what's up, everybody? Just hanging out. Just having no, no crayon today. Didn't have none of the crayon. Just having some of the Dunkin' Donuts. Here's the Dunkin' Donuts. Hope it's good. I hope you're good. Hope everybody in the chat's good. Hope your mothers are good. I love to romp your mothers about that. You want to talk about the uh, Virginia rally? Um, my bad. Let me just get over to uh, Skype. I didn't open up Skype yet, so let me just get Skype opened up here. And um, I know Arnold was really mad about the sand, whatever he said. But uh, while I get Skype going, let's just remember this great tune. Everybody knows you cunt. Everybody talking about all this bullshit tonight. Telling uh, yeah. yeah. Justin Trudeau, why you gotta do brown face? Why the fuck you gotta do brown face? Justin Trudeau, why'd you do black face, brown face, brown face, black face? Justin Trudeau, why'd you do that? Why'd you fucking do that? Brown face, black face, brown face, black face, brown face, a rap, brown face, black face. Trudeau did brown face. Trudeau did brown face. Wow. He virtue signals. Now you know why. Everyone that virtue signals only does it because they are that way. They project themselves onto everyone else because they feel guilty. Trudeau did brown face. Trudeau. Sand. He's a sand. 
Justin Trudeau I, and, a, and a, a little while ago um, apparently somebody posing as Arnold Schwarzenegger called up and uh, you know wanted to yell at me about I guess that maybe maybe that's what they were yelling at me about I don't know I don't know ma'am I feel like there's a pushback right now everybody's saying you know he got reelected and everything and you know one of the reasons why I think he got reelected is because I think that we're I think we're all sick of this stuff right I think everybody's sick of this I think white people, black people, Latinos, um, Mexican, whatever you are, doesn't matter, Asian, whatever you are, Arab, Middle Eastern, wh- I mean, at least the ones that I know, they're all sick of this shit. Nobody gives a fuck. We all are treat each other. We all fucking have a good fucking time and make fun of each other. That's the best shit ever. Nobody likes real racists. Fuck them. But we all like to be a little racist because it's funny. All right? Being funny about each other is like, something that brings everybody closer to each other don't let anybody tell you that it doesn't because it does everybody gets feels good about a little bit of fun you know what i mean put a little mayonnaise on me and cook me i don't give a shit um i thought arnold was pretty rude he was clam baked what the fuck is going on with this cocksucker arnold i mean this is definitely not the real arnold schwarzenegger the real arnold schwarzenegger would love me this is definitely not the real arnold okay Big Fuego. What up, Fuego? Hey, Fuego, did we ever figure out your fucking Discord problem, dude? I messaged you a shitload. We got to figure out your Discord problem because that sucked, dude. We need to figure that out so next time you don't get fucked like that. That was retarded. By the way, Fuego, what's up? He got reelected because he's liberal and liberals are allowed to get away with blackface. That's true. That is true. Is that why, uh, is that why I got away with it? No, I'm just kidding. I never did it. I don't give a shit, though. You know, I just don't. I like everybody. I don't give a fuck. If it's funny, we do it. I just don't give a shit. And, you know, if somebody's like, oh, you know how insensitive that is? Do you know how insensitive that is? Do you know what that comes from? Do you know what that means? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I don't give a shit. I'm the one who, I'm the one who don't give a shit. You're the one that cares. You're the one that's fucking uptight and psycho about fucking something that you did in the past, whoever this, whoever you are who I'm talking about. Somebody did something psycho in the past, and now they have to virtue signal over it because they're embarrassed. That's what it is. Like a thousand times over when you find somebody, especially a white person, especially when you find a white person or a white woman, especially a white woman who's like, oh, my God, it's because like. 10 years ago they were like saying something or like they they did something fucked up or they've been doing fucked up things they're out of their minds um who cares fuck every fuck everything now that i think about it by the way amanda made me this bracelet i like it i'm wearing it arnold go back to auschwitz 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 Fucking can't do German. I'm always fucking German words up. Like, badly. Super Chat Party. Save me, Super Chat Party. Affirmative action is racist. Black Lives Matter is racist. Me too is sexist. But most importantly, Sasha sucks. Plop, 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 plop. Spaz Phoenix, thanks for the $5. I would argue, I would argue that half of, a lot of me too is sexist. And a lot of Black Lives Matter can be that way, yes. But I would argue that the other half of it is good-natured. Like, it did come from a good place, so that it is meaningful. I would argue that, you know, 
the original sort of idea with the Black Lives Matter is fine. But some of the extremes that it's going to or that it's been in, because so many different people can treat it however they want to treat it, it's so weird now. Um, same thing with the Me Too stuff. At its core, it's a good idea because, you know, let's call out this stuff. But then you get all these falsified bullshit stories. Then you get people just hating on men. I would say more of, like, some of the feminism nowadays is more sexist. Like, I don't even know if it's Me Too. It's just... But, yeah, Me Too is kind of sexist because guys can't be Me Too, you know? Guy, guys who get raped can't uh, Me Too, really. Even, like, 14-year-old boys who are raped by women who are adults... Where's all those Me Too's? Nobody gives a fuck. But, um, yeah, but so, and yeah, I half agree about Black Lives Matter. I think there's part of Black Lives Matter that I get it. Like, it makes sense to me. But there's another part of it that's, like, fucked up. And so, I don't know. You can't, I don't know if you can generalize it all like that. That's how, I, that's why I got in a fight with, uh, Dave back in the day about that. Cause, like, like, I agreed with him with half of it, but the other half I didn't. You know what I mean? I don't know. I get it. As long as long as it's just sort of like a, as long as it's a group that's trying to like bring awareness to something, um, I don't have a problem with that at all. As long as you're not demeaning other people or trying to like create an an advantage for yourself, but if you're calling out disadvantages, that's okay to me. It's as long as it's right. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know when something's right or wrong, and it doesn't mean that because a group of the a small group or half of the portion of a group do something that the whole group is this way now that doesn't mean that to me it just means that there's a lot of elements to it that are bad and there's a lot of elements to it that are good so i just go case by case i don't generalize the whole group because there's so many different pockets of it it's become something that's so general widespread that it's not what it is you know what i mean it's like saying like it's like saying like all Republicans are terrible or all liberals are terrible. It's like none of that's true either. There's a whole bunch of left wing liberals who are, are great people who and there's a whole bunch of right wing Republicans who are great people. Just because there's a chunk of each that's that are psychos, it doesn't ruin the whole fucking, you know, generalize the whole party as scum. You know, anytime like if there's somebody out there who's like all left wing need to die, all right wing need to die. Like if anybody's out there doing that, whenever you do that and you generalize the whole group, you're retarded. I mean, you're just being dumb. But I tend I, I don't even like either, by the way, I, I hate both sides. I don't like either side. I think they both do suck, but I don't generalize like fuck them all because I know that there's a whole bunch of people who label themselves one or the other, but they're not really that bad. They're fine. It's just there's extreme sections of it that are fucked, and they make the whole group look bad. But you can't really get on board with the left or the right because they're owned by all the corporations. So I'd rather stand back and be on the independent side of shit and be like, yeah, it's uh, it's just me. It ain't, I ain't, uh, I don't have anybody that's, you know, paying for me to do this or whatever. I don't. You know, but how are you ever going to get elected without playing the game? You know what I mean? So good luck to anybody who's not playing the game. Good luck to Bernie, because I don't think he's fully playing the game, and I think they're scared of him. But we'll see. Black Lives Matter is racist. It started because cops were killing black people for no reason. So let's see. That's what I mean. See, it started. In a, it started from a good place. Who said that, by the way? It was uh, Spaz. Oh, yeah, Spaz. Well, Spaz is in Canada. What the fuck? He don't know. He's up in Canada. He's like, ah, dude, I've been over this a million times. The Michael Garner thing, well, that was fucked up. The Gar or Eric Garner, that was the worst one. That was the biggest dumb fucking thing ever. There was one guy who basically sucked. We've been over this so many times, I don't want to go over it again. Just think for yourself, man. Nobody listen to what I'm saying, really. You can listen to what I'm saying, but nobody nobody out there should listen to me and be like, wow, yeah. I mean, you should make up your own mind. I'm not going I, I don't, to... I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, so you shouldn't listen to me, but you should have your own opinion and think about whatever you want to think about and be your own person. Fuck, I don't want to preach anything to anybody. So we're getting ready for Raw Tarted, guys. It's about to happen. Monday Night Raw is coming on soon. Can you believe it? Arabian crack whore. 
Can you believe Arnold really called my show and said this? I can't believe he just did this. Spaz, thanks for the $5, man. Much appreciated. This is what Arnold just said, man. Listen to this call. Let's play this back. This is fucking weird. This is All weird. right, this guy keeps calling over and over and over again, and I keep just not taking the call, but fine. Um, you're on the air. What's up? Yes, Joe, yes. Come on. Yep. Hello, am I on the air? Yep. Am I on the air? It's me. It's me, Arnold, yes. Schwarzenegger. Come on, I want to talk about the... I want to, to, to tell you that I no longer listen to your program because of the bad words you said the other day. It was absolutely despicable. What? What, what bad... Dude, what bad... Arnold, I'm not you saying bad, bad words. Word. Yes, you did. You know what you said. You said a racist word. You said a racist thing. No, I didn't. I don't think so, bro. Why do you say these racist things? I'm Why not, do you say these racist things? I'm not saying racist things, Arnold. Arnold, I'm not doing that. Go ahead with you. Want to hang up on me? No, I kind of. I do. You know, you said the bad word. You said to get down with the sand. Oh, you said come on. Why no. did you say sand? Oh, stop. What the f what the hell, Arnold? Dude, seriously, bro. Dude, listen, I never said that. Or, and if I did say that, I was muting myself. I muted myself. Nobody on the air heard that whatsoever. It doesn't dude. matter if you muted it. You know, you said it. You said sand. Oh, my God. Get rid. Oh, my God. Really? Really? Is that what we're going to do? All right. Well, um, yeah, guys, Monday Night Raw tonight. Um, yeah, that was the call earlier, I guess, some guy who said, that's not Arnold. I mean, let's face it, that's not Arnold. Um, there is Monday Night, Monday Night Raw tonight is going to be, uh, it's not going to be three and a half hours. There was this report, it's going to be three and a half hours. It was a glitch. Th I mean, this is what I thought, that there was some kind of glitch or bullshit on their uh, thing, and it is. It's a bullshit glitch. There's not going to be a three-and-a-half-hour Raw. It's going to be three hours as normal. At least that's what they say. They say the whole thing was a mistake. They came out and said it. So anybody hoping for that to be... I mean, I don't know why you would hope for a three-and-a-half-hour Raw, um, but, I mean, it would be kind of exciting if it ended at a different time, but, you know, I don't think anybody would be really hoping for a three and a half hour raw you know i don't think anybody would want to do that uh three three nine two two six sixty six ten i am live for a little bit longer i think so if you want to call up and get on talk about whatever you want to talk about you want to talk about this virginia thing you want to talk about the super bowl you want to talk about how monday night raw is going to suck you want to talk about my Patreon being just fucking awesome? Take some time out right now real quickly just to bring up the fact that uh, the Joe Cronin Show and Corrupted Podcast is brought to you by audibletrial.com slash JCS. Go to audibletrial.com slash JCS, and they have a gift for every single one of you guys. All the Joe Cronin Show listeners right now get a free audio book. If you go to audibletrial.com, doesn't matter if you've done it before, in the past, or whatever, audibletrial.com slash JCS, you can get a $20 audio book for free. So thank you to audibletrial.com slash JCS. Go to the website now and you can get that um, book. If you love podcasts and you love audiobooks or you never had audiobooks, you're going to love audiobooks. I recommend the Jericho book, but there's so many books to look at. Um... That, I mean, just just browse around. You'll find something that you want, you know, to be put on in the background while you're playing a video game, while you're studying, whatever, in the car, doesn't matter. AudibleTrial.com slash JCS. Also, another big one for all you wrestling fans out there, over 2,000 iPay-per-views of wrestling, thousands of shoot interviews, all become unlocked, like the WWE Network. But this is like the independent wrestling network. Almost every independent wrestling company that you can think of is on this website. Okay, TitleMatchWrestlingNetwork.com. Go to TitleMatchWrestlingNetwork.com. Uh, Title Match Network, just check it out. 50% off for all of you guys. Only you. Three months, 50% off. It's normally $9.99 a month, and you get everything, including live eye pay-per-views and all kinds of shit. But you guys get it for two weeks for free and 50% off a month when you use coupon code Cronin. Just use Cronin. Um, there's so much stuff on here right now, guys. There's a lot of new stuff in the last two months 
They've been uploading almost daily, new content daily coming out. Big, big shows coming out. A lot of wrestlers that you guys recognize from Ring of Honor, you know, NXT and uh, AEW. And uh, they're all here. A lot of last matches, a lot of returns, a lot of independent shows you've heard of. It's all there. And they gave us 50% off for you guys. I'm friends with the guy that, that runs the whole deal. Obviously getting pretty big in the wrestling world is Title Match Wrestling. You can also check them out on YouTube. Title Match Wrestling on YouTube, but... uh. That is their website, and they've worked really hard on it. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's one of those days, man. Man, the Raw crowd's jacked. Are they in St. Louis tonight? Raw crowd's a little jacked, I got to tell you. If they're in St. Louis, if I recall, St. Louis is a pretty big, casual crowd but the thing about it is they're a pretty casual crowd that's excited usually. So if that's where they are tonight, Raw's in St. Louis, which it might be. The crowd's going to be at least pretty hot. And coming down to the ring right now is the Monday Night Messiah. Yeah, the Dean Malenko uh, shoot interview is, I heard, I heard was pretty good. The Monday Night Messiah, dude. It's just too funny. Buddy Murphy looks good in black, yeah? Dude, he's wearing the new Monday Night Messiah shirt. It just doesn't look great with what he's wearing, but it's still hilarious. It's still hilarious looking. Man, that is some funny shit, bro. The Monday Night Messiah. Ridiculous. All right, everybody. Well, I'm out. little brief talk. Not a phone call. Not a single phone call. God damn it, man. What happened? I got to get JB's audience back. Jesus. What the fuck do I do this for? Another day in the books. And uh, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And I hope everybody... Oh, cleaning up my system there. Uh, shout out to the girdles. Uh, uh, that's a, a letter to turn. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I can come. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I can come. Testicle festival. Ooh. Oh, I can come. Ooh. If you want to support the show, the best way to do it is to become a patron. We need you on Patreon. 393 patrons. 30 hours of bonus content that you cannot hear on YouTube. So many podcasts. So much shit going down on Patreon. Come join the JCS Army on Patreon. The Corrupted Podcast every single fucking week. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Download the app for free. Check it out. Give it a look. Shout out to Johnny Maverick, who's become a $5 patron. Thank you so much to Johnny Maverick. And also to Patrick Carnes, who's back on board. Dion Melton. And also SOCOM Castle. Going up to the $25 producer level. And to the biggest supporter of all, Tony Diesel. Tony Diesel, over 100 Big shout out to him, man, for keeping me alive and keeping us doing what we do here. Thank you to Tony Diesel so much, bro. That's fucking crazy. And, dude, we have a hell of a family on Patreon. And we're talking a lot of shit this week on Patreon. A lot of shit's going to go down on Patreon this week. And I don't give a fuck. ADTR, Arknolia Strokel Bean, Awandi Big M, Big Fuego Jacob, uh, Brian Harper, CJ Bradley, Cold Brew Crew, Dan H. and Court. Uh, Daniel Cater, Drew Bar 100, Dwayne Crenshaw. Here comes Samoa Joe and my God with kendo sticks. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Frog Kid. What up, Frog Ribbit? Gary Metzler, 
Gerald Armstrong, Joe Compton, the Renegade, John Constipated Rock, John Zippe, Joseph Lightsey, Khalil, Bama, Starscream, Matt Rossmeyer, uh, Mike Torin, Mikey Too Crikey, Nikki J, Shell, Brian, Sith Negan. Sith Negan is up in the Hundy spot. Socom Castle, he's a new guy. What up? Well, he's not new. He's come back. He's been around forever. Uh, Talk to me nice. The Bear, 1322. Tony Diesel again. And Z. Z the Reaper. Z the Reaper. Z the Raper. Now, just imagine. That'd be crazy. Uh, Special shout out to uh, Gary Metzler and CJ Bradley. Kalel Bama, Starscream, Mikey to Crikey, Sith Negan, Socom Castle, The Bear 1322, um, Wandy for all, and, uh, and yeah, CJ Bradley because they all are over the 500 spot. So much, 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 much appreciated. I'm going to watch Raw now and kill myself. No, I was kidding. No, Raw will be good. No, it won't. No, it won't. Raw will not be good. What's up, everybody? I'll see you guys after Raw. Ooh, oh, I can come. Ooh. What have you got to show in your fucking DMs? Your fucking DMs. What do you got to show that's going to expose me? Ooh, oh, I can come. Ooh. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe or die. Goodbye.